Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 16.2. Now we have a new update for iOS 16.2. It's beta 2, which has been released two weeks after the first beta and it's actually really, really interesting. Of course, it has some new features and changes, which we're going to talk about in a few seconds here, but it also has a really, really interesting change that is not yet here, but it has been found on iOS 16.2 and it's coming very soon soon to every iPhone. So let's get started with iOS 16.2. First of all, we're talking about the build number. So this is the build number for iOS 16.2 beta 2. So it's 20C5043E. This is the new build number for iOS 16.2. Now, of course, if you want to update to your device, you can install the public beta right now because it will be released to the public later this year. We're going to talk about that also towards the end of the video. And now let's move on to the new features and changes of iOS 16.2. Now, the first change you will notice is only if you have an iPhone 14 Pro. Now the 14 Pro Max, just the iPhone 14 Pro. You will see more icons on the status bar right there when the dynamic island is active, like maybe playing music or something like that. You will see the signal bars if you have, of course, them enabled, but I have here the airplane mode and you will see more now with iOS 16.2 beta 2. Now this used to be the same with the bigger devices, with the Max device, but if you have only the iPhone 14 Pro, you will notice that change. And you update that Apple has added for live activities on iOS 16.2 beta 2. If you go to TV now and you go to live activities, you will have now the ability to enable more frequent updates. Now, what this will do, it will basically let you see more real-time information for like TV apps, but of course it will drain your battery and it says it right here. But of course, the great thing is that you can always disable this if you want to save battery and not get updated that frequently. A very nice change on the lock screen of iOS 16.2, new widgets have been added for medications. So go to add a widget, go under health, and you will find medications here. So we'll have, of course, the smaller one and a bigger one right there, and we'll show you your schedule for the medications, basically your next medication that you have to take right on your lock screen. The music app has been updated with more animations, like this right here. When tapping the buttons to go forwards or backwards, or play and pause, we have new animations. Now these actually have been added to the lock screen controls way before since iOS 16 has been released, but now they're in the music app as well. And you will notice also this, I believe this is new right here. You can see when you play and pause right there, the album art, it will shrink. Of course, when you have the music paused, when you tap play, it will become bigger. And here's another change with iOS 16.2 beta 2 if you have Apple Music and you play music, you will notice now that the details for the song right there are transparent. Basically, you will have that like blur effect from the background from the album art and you will have bigger play and shuffle buttons as well. Now, here's another small change that you will notice on the weather app when you're viewing a city on the USA. Now, it will show you also the state of that city. So you can see right here, it says weather for New York. New York, United States. So you will basically have right there the two letters that indicate the state of that city. As you probably know, with iOS 16.2, Apple has added the new Freeform app. Now with iOS 16.2 Beta 2, if you go to Freeform right here, you will have a few changes. They will have the ability to enable or disable cellular data for Freeform. This wasn't available on the first beta and it has been enabled now with beta 2. Another thing that you will notice here is that you will have acknowledgements right here. So if you go there, you can see all acknowledgements which haven't been before here on beta 1. Both of these have been added with the second beta. And another change for iOS 16.2 beta 2, it now enables 5G in India. And we have here screenshots from Reddit, iOS beta Reddit. We have here screenshots of 5G in India. That's amazing. If you live in India, now you will be able to use 5G, of course, as long as you have the newest software installed on your device. And now let's move on and talk about that big feature I talked at the beginning of the video. Now, this feature 
is called custom accessibility mode. Now you can see right here, we have the screenshots. These are from nine to five Mac and they did a great job with this. So basically what this feature does is that this will just deliver a new experience for iPhone users. So if you want larger text, different controls for users who may not basically find the interface of the iPhone easy to use, you will be able to do that with the custom accessibility mode. This will be amazing. Of course, it will be probably life changing for a lot of a lot of people. And you can see right here, we have the screenshot. You can see what you can get here. So you can see what we have right here. So you have streamlined home and apps. You can see right there, large UI with large text and controls. And of course, you can customize it as well. So here we have like different layouts. You can use grids or lists very nice and we have here also different settings that you will be able to enable or disable for this feature now this feature currently is not enabled on ios 16.2 and will very very likely be enabled in the next few beta so it should come out once ios 16.2 comes out to the public and now that we're done with the features, let's talk about performance. So here we have the Geekbench scores for iOS 16.2 beta 2. So we have the single core score 1878, while we had it at 1892 on beta 1. That's a slight decrease there. Probably it will get better in the next few days. And then we have here the multi-core score 5,492. And then we have here 5,504 for iOS 16 beta 2. So we have an increase here on the multi-core score while we had a slight decrease on the single core score. As far as battery goes, of course, it's very, very early to talk about that. This beta has been released only for like 24 hours now. So of course, we will need a few more days to see how this beta performs battery wise. So what's next for iOS 16.2? So currently we have been on a two week schedule. So we had this beta released two weeks after the first one. We expected that to happen. But from now on, I expect Apple to go ahead and move actually to a weekly schedule. So you can expect probably the third beta right here then the fourth, the fifth, probably the RC here, and then the final release as we got the report from Mark Rumor, it should be somewhere around mid-December. So I'm expecting it to be probably 12th or the 13th of December before Apple, of course, goes on holiday, releases the software, and they're good to go. So expect this to go on the weekly schedule from now on and expect it to be released probably at the 12th or the 13th of December. So that's basically it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and all the cool new features that iOS 16.2 is bringing to our devices. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you on the next one.